What's going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Uh, one of the stocks that I bought is Medtronic. This is a phenomenal stock. It is used, it is a big company in healthcare. The demand is exponential with cardiac related uh, issues. Medtronic is growing like crazy. I mean, if you look in the past five years, I know it took a hit right now, but it's going to be right back up there. It was $115.44 with a 2.45% uh, dividend. This stock is in demand. Okay, this is a product that's in demand. Um, I will go over their products as well, as well as their stock and uh, dividend analysis because this is something you guys want to know if you're investing in your IRA, Roth IRA, or your dividend portfolio. So let's just go over Medtronic real quick. It's a medical device company that generates the majority of its sales and profits from the U.S. healthcare system. It's in the Republic of Ireland for tax purposes. Um, one of the biggest things are their cardiovascular, in my honest opinion, their uh, cardiovascular uh, products. I work in healthcare. I am not a representative of them, but they are, you know, their uh, cardiovascular therapy span major specialties in interventional cardiology, cardiac surgery, and vascular surgery. The products are used to potentially uh, debilitating effects of coronary, aortic, and structural heart disease. They are phenomenal. Um, they also, uh, if you look at this, they are phenomenal in uh, insulin issues. And unfortunately, with, um, you know, um, diabetes and stuff, that's on the rise. They're saying in 2050, one in three is going to have type 2 diabetes and one in three is going to be obese. So they are a very diverse uh, medical company uh, with cardiac rhythm uh, management. So they have um, pacemakers that they make, and they're a huge, I mean, it's either them or Boston Scientific with uh, putting in pacemakers for patients. And, you know, basically you can go in a hospital and use a Medtronic device and check the rhythm on a patient with one of their reading. Um, you have like a, a computer and all you have to do is put like a mouse pretty much over someone's chest and it'll send a signal to see if Medtronic's having any issues or the pacemaker's having any issues. So they're so diverse. Diabetes, uh, I mean, insulin pumps, they are, um, they're just very powerful as a stock. Unfortunately, people that have type 1 diabetes, they're going to need insulin pumps. Uh, Medtronics, uh, they, they are the world leader in spinal and musculoskeletal therapies. Uh, they purchased Krypton, who's a huge um, seller of spinal implants. So they're very diverse. Not only are they in diabetes, they're in surgical technologies, technology, and they have portable ventilators as well for the, the uh, crisis that's going on. So basically, here's their history. Uh, they are the first... They were the first with implantable pacemakers. They are an empire with pacemakers. They um, they have the digital fast pacemaker now, the Vitron T series. So they have all these pacemakers that are very powerful. And you know this will help with the longevity. If you're a patient that has a low heart rate or a heart block or abnormal uh, you know abnormalities, the pacemaker will fire it and um, help your um, heart basically pump. I'm trying to be as basic as, as I can, but they're such a diverse company. Their operating income right now is 5.33 billion. Their net income is 4.02 billion. Their assets are 99.82 billion. So they have 98,003 employees uh, in 2020. I mean, they're just a phenomenal company. So let's just look in the past um, their history. They are down a little bit. They're going right back up. They have uh, kicked some ass as a company with a nice 2% dividend, and they're just going to increase. I mean, the demand for people who are obese is going to be higher. There's going to be a demand. I mean, they work with tight, there's um, 
I mean, they're just so diverse. They purchase companies and then they're rolling. Let's just see how they do against the S&P real quick. Uh, where are we? All right, there we go. Compare. I mean, they have blown, I mean, Boston Scientific's one of their uh, competitors. They're just blowing them out of the water. I mean, look at that, $35.91 to 90 or so dollars. See how they've done against the S&P. They have just killed the S&P's 19,633% uh, 19, uh, versus 2,000. Let's check in the past five years how they've done. Yeah, they're neck and neck because they took a hit, but they're going to be right back up there. So I am not worried at all about that. Let's look at their dividend history real quick. This has gone up since uh, inception, basically from 54 cents to 58 cents. It's just going up. 40s, 50s, 50 cents, 58 cents. So it is on the rise. Look at this. The Medtronic dividend history. So look at the, um, look at how they've done, basically. So, I mean, if you look at their history, it has gone up since inception. I mean, let's just look at 2000. Three, it was 24 cents a share, 2004, 36, 47. Okay, it took a huge hit, you know, the recession hit right around that. So it's gone up pretty much over time if you look at its, its history. So they have medical devices and they're one of the leaders in the um, pacemakers. So, you know, I always ask the question, are stocks in demand? Like if, I, if I'm gonna purchase a healthcare stock, is it in demand? I mean, you know, I, I don't work for them. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I am a registered nurse. Uh, I work on a cardiac step down floor. It is a great uh, company. I have it in my um, 401k. It's part of the BlackRock Healthcare. Um, I'll do it right now. So if I go in the BlackRock uh, Healthcare Sciences Fund, I mean, it just killed the, um, let's see, it should be in there. It's a five star by Morningstar rated. I mean, these guys are gonna help them become a five-star Morningstar rated. I mean, the total returns high, which is great. I mean, sure, they, everybody's taking a hit, but you know, this is just such a strong, I mean, it's such a strong, here we go right here. Medtronic, 3.1%. So obviously if BlackRock thinks it's very important, it's gonna be in there. So I'm really um, excited to have this stock in my dividend portfolio and I'm ready to grow. So that's one that you might wanna consider um, basically to um, diversify because you're, you're gonna need healthcare. Healthcare needs to be one of your sectors, especially in your dividend portfolio to um, expand. So, you know, basically I, I, I think, what is the, the Health Science Opportunities Fund, I think it's about 10% in my mutual fund, 403B. But here's the thing, okay. Look at look at how powerful it's been. I mean, sure, it, take, it took a hit. I mean, I'm going to take advantage of that. You bet your ass. It's down. So, you know, over time, I mean, this is going to give a great dividend to help with compound interest. So this is something you might want to consider to your dividend portfolio. I'm, I tried to be as basic as possible. I, I thought about being real technical and um, saying, look at these devices, look at all this. 
but I need to be as basic as possible. I, I didn't want to um, overwhelm me or confuse you, but they have all these new products that come out and um, medical device companies, especially Medtronic, give off a 2% dividend. I mean, they're gonna come, they're gonna be strong and they're just gonna grow over time. And uh, this is something that you might wanna consider in your IRA, Roth IRA, or dividend portfolio. So thank you for watching this video. I try to be as basic as possible uh, with this one. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I think that, um, you know, I'm gonna be doing a collaboration video possibly tomorrow. So stay put. If you like this video, make sure you give me a like on it so that more dividend investors can see it. Medtronic is a very strong stock out there that you might want to consider to your uh, dividend portfolio. I definitely did it. Um, let me just jump real quick to my M1 Finance portfolio. Medtronic right now on my dividend portfolio. So that was one of the three stocks that I bought. I feel um, very confident with these guys that they will be strong and that I can finish strong with these guys and um, you know it's it's, it's a great stock I, I'm glad I put money in it I, I thought about it and I'm like should I capitalize should I do this I don't know you know I was like a little wishy-washy but I'm gonna you know I'm gonna put that up there and I'm gonna make some passive income for these guys so I feel really good about that and uh, you know with them and Affleck Affleck's down Starbucks was a little bit down um, it's just going to be nice to have some passive income in the long run. So um, I appreciate you guys watching this video, and thank you again. And um, let me know what you think of Medtronic. Is it a hot stock? Do you think it's not a good stock? Let me know. So we'll go from there. So thank you again, and have a good one.